Two masked men burst into a West Tulsa home, tied up the two people inside with zip ties and covered them with blankets and sheets. What happened next left a mother shattered and investigators searching for clues. In tonight's cold case file, two news anchor Sharon Phillips takes us back to the scene of the crime. So this is a case that goes back to February of 2008. At the time, Frederick Wilson is 22 years old. Uh, he's living in a home uh, with his girlfriend. They're watching television, and uh, according to our living witness, who is his girlfriend, two masked men, she suspects African-American, storm their way into the house. They zip tie the victims, put them on the ground. Investigators with the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office say the men began to search the house for anything valuable, specifically money. At one point, someone shoots Frederick Wilson in the back of the head, and the two suspects leave the house. Deputies say his girlfriend was somehow able to free herself from her zip ties and get out of the house and go call for help. When deputies arrived at the home, they say Wilson was already dead, and the only living witness, his girlfriend, had limited information. Wilson's mother, Sandra, tells me about hearing that her only son had been shot. I was at home when it happened and I got a phone call, but I got the phone call where he was shot. I didn't find out he was dead till I went to the house. They tied him up, put a, covered him up and zip tied him and then killed him. Mm. <laughs> a possible motive began to take shape as investigators worked through the clues left behind. Looking into Frederick's lifestyle, we think may have played a role in the motive for this case. Um, Frederick was well known in, in the narcotics game, and it is suspected that he may have had uh, perhaps thousands of dollars in cash from drug proceeds in the house, and that is the motive that we're looking at. Wilson's mother agrees. He wasn't in no gang. It probably had something to do with drugs, but he wasn't in no gang. Despite what her son may have been involved with when he died, she says no parent should ever have to lose a child. It just, you know, being happy on the outside, but don't nobody know the pain on the inside. It's just like my birthday come, then this is like they just gave me two weeks to meet with him before they decided to kill him. I don't celebrate my birthday. I don't celebrate nothing really. Right now, investigators are running into a brick wall when it comes to solving this case because people are scared to come forward. But a lot of time has gone by. The suspects in this case are well-known bad guys and they're currently incarcerated. So we want the public to feel like now is the time to come forward and give us the information that we need to finally bring closure to Frederick's family. Sharon Phillips, 2 News, Oklahoma. If you know anything about Wilson's murder, police hope you'll call Crime Stoppers at 918-596-COPS. You don't have to say your name, and you could earn a cash reward.